Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. As requested, going over the build sheets of a new 2022 Toyota Tundra Hybrid 1794. Um, I was looking through the comments in there and I had a gentleman ask, I believe it was a gentleman, ask me to do the 1794. Tried to scroll back and find out who you were, but uh, definitely leave a comment under here. I want to thank you for that uh, uh, request, of course. Uh, be quite honest, I was going to do it anyway, but appreciate the request, request always. So um, I have a treat for you. There are two 1794 Tundras that are in the hybrid that are allocated anywhere in the country right now. So the first two, I'm going to show you both of these so that you guys can have a look at both the 5.5 short bed and the 6.5 long bed just going to kind of show you some information on it and without further ado I'm going to show you this here we'll talk about it as we go and you know how i've been doing it so this is how we're going to do it because well, i don't know kind of let's just say because it works so um anyway so first off uh i didn't, normally i would look at these and i would say hey look there's options not options and just kind of giving you some information on it but uh like i said there's two of them that are currently allocated so since that's the case let's kind of take a look at this so 1794 model code on your five and a half foot bed so your five and a half foot bed right here is an 8423 all right so base model is 64090 and you have to add in toyota's delivery processing and handling right here at 1695. this one's got 5149 dollars worth of options on it so that is a seventy thousand nine hundred and thirty four dollar total price tag on the 1794 in the hybrid you'll also notice this particular one shows blueprint with saddle tan interior your combined 20 miles per gallon 19 city 22 highway um, shows all that so some of the packages that you can get your advanced package um, it's going to have your load leveling rear height control air suspension adaptive variable suspension and your 10 inch color heads up display i was playing with that earlier today that's actually it's a pretty cool feature there uh, very similar to what's currently on the other cars for uh for the heads up display so if you've seen heads up display on any toyotas it's going to be the same 1794 grade package all right so that's obviously what that is pvm and bsm outer mirror so your power uh, sorry, your uh, blind spot monitor and your panoramic view monitor um, are on your outer mirrors, of course. So heated power outer mirrors with blind spot monitor, panoramic view monitor, and LED turn signals. Your power running boards are on here, 1350 on your power running boards. And I'm going to kind of get this a little closer for you here. Your TRD performance air filter, hard tonneau cover on this particular one. Um, obviously, that, that's something that a lot of people like. And then this one's got door edge guards on it as well. Um, going to page two. Like I said, I'm going to try to go through this a little bit quick if I can. Uh, definitely slow me down and uh, back up if you need to. Spray on bed liner, I did a video on that. You can see the differences with and without on there. There's 579 there. Um, so there's all your optional equipment, right? So now what's on there? Just like I did on the other ones, I'm going to go over this again. So your iForce Max 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 hybrid, 437 horsepower at 5200 rpms uh 583 foot pounds of torque at 2400 insanely low rpms get that kind of torque uh your turbo chargers on there your in ignition system's a conventional 12 volt it's not like the regular hybrids um your it's a low emissions vehicle it says right here so um like i've mentioned before that should mean you can drive in the hub lanes but check your local standards for that of course electric motor output gives you 48 additional horsepower which is part of your 437 of course um it has a 280 88 volt sealed nickel metal hydride battery um, transmission is your same 10 speed that is on the non-hybrid version of it uh, the hybrid is in line by the way so um, that's all uh, in line with that so um, the 10 speed is i mean these things drive like a dream guys so if you get a chance to drive one you'll you'll find that out so um, your transmission has intelligence so that means that it can uh, find out how you're driving and adjust to you so your suspension this is the game changer for tundra the independent double wishbone front suspension suspension and your coil spring multi-link rear suspension instead of your leaf springs so brakes you have your power assisted ventilated 13.9 inch front disc brakes with your opposed dual piston brake calipers and a ventilated 13.6 inch rear disc brake with your single piston calipers so the opposed dual piston calipers guys that is amazing it actually puts the brake pads it's it or your pistons on both sides pushing the brake pad so it's not a floating caliper it pushes them on both sides stops you better it's just it's a it's a better designed system um, you'll love that you've got that especially if you tow a lot um, 
electronic parking brake, body on frame construction. That just means that they set the body onto the frame. Um, the towing, obviously you have an integrated brake controller. Uh, no need to buy anything extra for your brakes, for your uh, brake controller. So if you're, tow if you're towing a trailer that is brake compatible, um, this should see it as long as you have electronic trailer brakes on the back. Then you're gonna have your gain, everything else is gonna show up on the screen in the center there. So you also have your trailer backup guide system with your straight path assist. Uh, your trailer sway control, uh, your steering wheel turns lock to lock. That means all the way from one lock to all the way to the other, you'll turn it 3.4 times to get there. Um, valve train is a 24 point va a 24 valve dual overhead cam, aluminum cylinder heads with your variable timing. There's your specs on that. Um, your direct inject and port injected fuel system, which is the best way to do it, um, keeps your engine both clean and efficient. Um, your exhaust system is a stainless steel exhaust system. Um, and I will mention too that usually when you drive the new car, you'll notice a little bit of a smell from it. And that is that uh, coating burning off the exhaust that keeps it from rusting. So um, that's something that uh, some people have asked when they drive, what's that smell? You know, that's your answer. Um, so your electric motor is a parallel hybrid system. That's what I told you, it's in line um, with the transmission. So um, permanent mag magnet synchronous motor generator. Um, your electric motor torque is 184 foot pounds. Your drive modes is, you know, just like most things, you have eco, normal, and sport mode. Four wheel on demand and part time. Um, so it can flip into four wheel drive on its own if it needs to. Um, automatic limited slip differential. A lot of people are really praising that. Um, your uh, electronic power steering, your power assisted rack and pinion. Now you can use your uh, lane tracing with Toyota, which has uh, been in the cars for a while. And this is the first time it's in any of the trucks. The Tacoma doesn't have it. And the 4Runner doesn't have it at the time of making this video. Um, it does not have the ability to bump or you or help you steer with your steering wheel. This one does. Um, Electronically controlled braking system with regenerative braking. Like I said, that's another game changer. That's going to help keep you with a little bit of extra power in your battery to help make you get a little bit extra fuel economy. Um, body on frame, um, like I said, that's your the same way. It's got hydraulic cab mounts, which will make for a better ride for inside passengers in the cab. It's just going to, like I said, it's like riding on a cloud, guys. Um, towing, you have a class four towing hitch receiver wiring harness with your seven pin and four pin connectors, tow haul driving modes, off-road engine body undercovers, your turning circle diameter. So if you measure the diameter of a full turn with the wheel at the lock and you do a full turn, side to side of that circle is gonna be 48.6 feet. Um, your weight rating is 7660 on the pounds there and keep in mind options, things like that can add to that, uh, that weight there. All right, so your exterior. So like I said, this one's the five and a half foot short bed. All right, you got a deck rail system with your four adjustable tie down cleats, your fixed cargo bed tie down points, your tailgate release bump switch. So that's on your driver's side tail light. You check out my other video on that. I showed you how that works. Um, you and So that's how you get it down. You also can release that from your um, uh, key fob as well. So um, 20 inch machine finished alloy wheels, LED fog lights, LED center high mounted stop light with your integrated cargo lights, rain sensing washer linked variable intermittent windshield wipers. So your wipers are rain sensing on your 1794. That is a standard feature. Uh, your front door handles have your touch sensor and unlock feature. It's a push button start, grab it, it'll unlock for you. Um, gloss back black painted A pillars. Um, and uh, your chrome 1794 edition door badges, garnish, and your door handles, window molding mirror caps, color keyed tailgate spoiler, and your gray painted over fenders. Four by four tailgate badge, that's pretty much on all of them that are, well, four by four. Um, so aluminum reinforced composite bed construction, same thing that you've seen for a long time in the Tacoma. Um, they've adapted it to the Tundra. And then, like I said, if you need something a little bit more non-skid, you can add that spray in bed liner. So um, 120 volt for that 120 volt, 400 watt bed mounted AC power outlet. So you'll have that. Your Tundra stamped uh, easy lower and lift tailgate with your smart switch release like we were just talking about. Um, you can actually just grab the back handle. You can even lock the, the truck from the tailgate. There's a little button there you can do that, which is really cool. So um, premium LED headlights with chrome trim, LED daytime running lights, sequential turn lights. That means that as you hit that button, it's going to kind of go like that to make that right turn. So it's going to give you that um, extra there. So. Um, 
it just looks really good so uh, led trailer reverse assist light there's actually a light that'll shine back on your trailer it's really nice um, but i've seen that too so uh, heated power auto dimming outside mirrors with your turn signal blind spot warning indicator and power folding and reverse tilt down features chrome accented mesh grill with chrome with chrome surround so now all the other ones i've said so far that we were talking about on the uh, the hybrids uh, which was the pro and the capstone have the painted surround this one will have your chrome surround which actually they've done on the 1794 for a while all right so your black roof mounted shark fin antenna and your iforce max hood badge are all on there so yeah we're only halfway through here guys so <laughs> but now we're about done here so anyway so there's your bed depth bed length overall length all that's right there take in those numbers uh memorize them because i'm gonna have to so you might as well as well anyway so um, your interior, <laughs> leather trimmed seats, of course. So that's going to be leather because it does not say soft tech. So uh, a lot of times people ask, is it leather or is it the, uh, the synthetic leather? This one will be pure leather here because it says leather trim seats. Um, uh, premium contrast stitching, 10-way power adjustable driver and front passenger seats with a four-way power adjustable lumbar. That should be up, down, in, in, out, just in case you're wondering. Heated and ventilated front and rear seats. So once again, your rear seats are going to be heated and ventilated as well. That's a first in any Toyota um, to have the ventilated rear seats. So um, they've had heated and ventilated front with the heated rear and something like the Highlander Platinum, but they did not do this until now. All right. So um, smart key system with your push button start. We talked about all that stuff right there. Uh, backup camera with your projected path, your drive mode select, switch and dial, rear seat heat, heat or sorry, rear seat air vents for your heater or air conditioner. Um, definitely really nice if you have pets back there, kids back there, or um, just something you don't, you know, you don't want to not have air on it. Um, heated steering wheel. That is a standard feature, so that is not an option on this one. That is standard. Uh, front 12-volt auxiliary power outlet, wireless charging, uh, power vertical rear window, defrogger, and your privacy glass. Power windows, the one-touch auto up and down, and your jam protection, your digital display, auto dimming rear view mirror with your compass and your home light. So digital display is your digital rear view mirror, guys. Um, in case you're wondering, does that mean that it has a camera on it? Yes, it does. Um, so electronic locking fuel door, like I said before, that was not on the Tundra prior. It is now. Um, by the way, I will mention too that on that, watch for the inside of the fuel door. It's going to have a little message for you that says that if you hit that button to unlock that door and you don't fuel up within 30 minutes, you need to hit that button again uh, before you fuel up or you can have a fuel spill. So definitely notice that uh, little um, message that's on the inside of your fuel door. I'm always trying to give you a little extra when you watch my videos. Um, so front rear LED map lights, instrument panel and uh, door ambient lighting, illuminated driver, passenger footwells, front and rear LED pocket light, soft touch instrument panel and center console and door services. And guess what? You even get a 1794 additional all weather floor mats. That's going to be special to the 1794. All right. So driver's seat memory functions. So um, you're going to be able to uh, set the memory for your driver's seat. You will also be able to um, set that to your key fob. If you don't know how, I have a video about it. If you can't find that video, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll, I'll link it for you or even send me an uh, email at buyatoyotanashville at yahoo.com um, and I'll send you a link there. So pretty easy. So anyway, 60-40 split folding rear seat with your center armrest and cup holders. By by the way, I do want to mention that on your hybrids, the under seat is reserved for the battery. So you do not have the under seat storage on the hybrid uh, models. That's where your battery is. So um, definitely note that, that you do not have that in these. Uh, if you need that storage, you may want to look at the non-hybrid. Um, 12 12.3 inch digital meter with selectable gauge display screens, fuel economy, driver says vehicle trip information and warning messages. Um, beautiful, beautiful display on that center screen. So um, I'll be doing a video on that here for you guys here shortly. So um, definitely wanted to show you that. So panoramic view monitor with cameras, like I said, that's looking all the way around the truck and uh, even underneath the truck, I believe on this one as well. So um, dual zone automatic climate control with your air filtration and individual tempers temperature settings for your driver and passenger or what they say you know dual zone climate control that means two all right so leather trimmed power tilt telescoping steering wheel with your phone audio all that stuff that you're used to and that everybody would demand and if they didn't have it they'd probably trade the truck in um 
Anyway, so your fixed center console with your gated shift lever, driving controls, four cup holders, and centered center storage bin. 120 volt, 400 watt rear seat AC power outlet. Um, so that's something that you have one in the bed. You also got one in the rear seat. So that, that could help you too. So power tilt slide panoramic roof with a power sunshade. So some people have said, can you get it without the panoramic roof? Guess what? No. Um, so <laughs> it's going to go with the panoramic roof, whether you like it or not. And I think that once you see it, you're going to find out that uh, you probably like it. All right. So acoustic laminated windshield, it's going to make it a little bit quieter on the inside. Everything's about being quieter on this truck. It's just going to make it better for you. Um, rear door sunshades. I will mention too, by the way, on uh, the quieter part, um, there is an ambient sound that comes through that makes the engine noise on the inside that can be shut off. Just so you know, um, there is a way to do that, but Anyway, so overhead console with the rear window control. So your rear, rear window control has been either on the dash or in the very center for a while, depending on the vehicle. And this one puts it up by your SOS button on the upper center console. So it is in a different spot right next to your sunglass storage up there. Front and rear assist grips. That's something that they brought back, which is cool because your driver's uh, side didn't have that assist grip. Now it does. Illuminated center console storage bin means you can look inside your center console and not need a flashlight. Uh, American walnut wood grain interior trim with your laser etched 1794 edition instrument panel badge. That is definitely a 1794 thing has been for a little while um, leather shift knob of course now you're all audio multimedia it's the only one you get on here it's the one that you want 14 inch which like I have said before I started my my uh, uh, when I was a teenager I had a 13 inch TV that I watched almost every night and this is bigger than that <laughs> so it's uh it's crazy how big these things are it's awesome um but it has 12 jbl speakers including your subwoofer and your amplifier wireless android auto and apple carplay um so it has both of those wireless guys that is the first for toyota to have those wireless all right um, and I will say that I'm mean, somebody's gonna call me on that. The Supra does have wireless CarPlay um, in the right one, so you have to have the upper level of the Supra in order to have wireless CarPlay. But to have it in the Tundra, that is a first, of course. So um, compatible Sirius XM. Uh, you have the three-month Platinum plan, of course, and then you have your Safety Connect for your connected service. That is a button that's over the um, in that center console there that uh, you can definitely get help with with a one-year trial remote connect. Um, with a one-year trial so that is where you can actually uh, start your car by the way you can start from your phone in that that's free for the first year after that it's $80 a year or $8 a month and people have been asking yes you can still start it with your key fob um, the length of time of that is in debate and I haven't got a straight answer it's either three years after um, the trial period or it is 10 years after the trial period that that would continue to work. I have not got an answer on that yet, but I will try to find an answer for that for you. Um, also, people have asked, isn't there a way that you can do the Tundra where it will not shut off when you open the door? And there is supposed to be. So um, I'm still working on that as well. So I will get you those answers. Subscribe to the channel. I will get you those answers in hopefully short order and uh, tell you how to set everything up for that. But it is supposed to be with the Tundra. All right. So service connect that'll connect directly to service department for three years. Um, Wi-Fi connect uh, with up to three gigabytes and a month trial um, is on there as well. So Toyota care, if you're not in the Southeast region, you'll have that included uh, 24 hour roadside assistance at no cost to you, no cost maintenance plan, of course. Um, then you also safety convenience. So 2.5 safety sense 2.5 is the latest and the greatest of the safety sense system pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, full speed range, dynamic radar, cruise control. That means your cruise control can take you all the way to a stop. Um, after you stop, you hit that gas It's going to bring you right back up to whatever you have it set or to, well, depends on how fast car ahead of you is going. But um, while you're in that lane departure, you will also have lane tracing assist or sorry, while you are in that um, radar cruise, you will also have lane tracing assist, um, and that will help to keep you to trace your lane, right? If you are not in that cruise control, it will be lane departure with steering assist, which means that once you try to cross out of your lane without your turn signal, it will try to bump you back in your lane. Um, automatic high beams and road sign assist. So road sign assist looks for stop, yield, do not enter, and speed limit signs. And this car ride, or this the Tundra rides so nice, uh, you're going to 
want to make sure you pay attention to them speed limits because uh, you can uh, definitely be going a lot faster than what you think driving this truck. So you'll find that out. So uh, front and rear parking assist with automatic braking. If you're about to back into something, you're about to roll into something, it can actually uh, hit them brakes for you. Um, there is a way to shut that off. And I've got a lot of videos on the ICS system, which should be a very similar system on how to shut off your parking assist braking because if you're going through a car wash you want to shut that off um, if there's things hanging in front of you eight total airbags including driver and passenger side knee and curtain airbags three point seat belts of course that is what you know been around for i don't know 100 years um not that many but you know um child all your child stuff star safety system including all your vehicles stability control traction control anti-lock brakes electronic brakes for distribution brake assistance smart stop technology he'll start uh, assist control that'll actually semi hold that brake for you while you're switching over um, blind spot monitor is standard with rear cross traffic alert so if somebody's coming behind you walking riding a bike driving a car it will alert you that somebody's behind you um, also has a trailer merge warning so it can actually adjust the blind spot monitor to uh, have a bigger effect so in case you're towing a trailer you'll tell the truck how long that trailer is or it'll sense how long it is and it can actually adjust that blind spot monitor for you um, tire pressure monitor system um, obviously you know what that is uh, active headrest going to help you to keep from getting whiplash if you're in a rear end collision um, latch system once again keeping those little kiddos safe also has a uh, check rear seat warning for you guys um, so in case you've opened them back doors it's going to tell you to check the rear seat before you get out so uh, safety connect we've already talked about that that also has a stolen vehicle locator roadside assistance automatic collision notification and a complimentary one-year trial on it um, and drive start control so um, that is i know i said that there's four pages by the way the four pages here i'll, I'll show you this just because all your little disclaimer stuff so you know if you want to kind of peek at that hit pause now pause now 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 okay you're done all right anyway so we got that one out of the way so now all i'm going to do i'm going to show you something else here so this has only one other option but it is the six five bed all right so this is the long bed in the hybrid 1794 so you're saying can i get the long bed in that yep and it is an 8433 that is your model code if you're asking a dealer hey do you have one available ask them if they have an 8433 it'll save you some time and if you get somebody who goes what's that then you know that you're talking to somebody that has absolutely not a clue what they're doing so so, <laughs> so anyway so your uh, vehicle base model right on this one you can see it's 64420 um let me just scan back over here so it's a the other one was 64090 so you can see it starts a little bit higher for the longer bed went a little what 300 and something dollars there um this one's got four thousand dollars in packages and then your delivery process and handling is the same thing so this particular one seventy thousand one hundred twenty nine dollars so if it was equipped exactly like the other one it would probably be about four hundred dollars more that's from my quick math so this one's in smoke mesquite interior saddle tan you're going to notice um you've got two different interiors saddle tan is one of them the other one is a beige color and the actual color is slipping my mind right now but i'm sure somebody will put that in the comments for us here so um you can see everything it's got here power run boards it's got all that spray and bed liner and this one's got a mini tie downs with hooks so that you can organize some stuff each one's got 110 pound um, load capacity so that's something that you might want to know and then this one's got something that i like to tell people about your console safe 394 dollars i don't know i think that that's pretty uh, a pretty good thing to put in about every truck so nice to have the console safe there to uh just just to help right so all the other stuff's the same except when you get down here it'll show your standard 6.5 foot standard bed obviously there's nothing else that's going to be anything different on that one why because it's the exact same truck it's just got a different bed on it so uh but yeah if you want to you know just kind of scroll through all that you can see everything's exactly the same and yeah so there we are so whew, i know i got i got kind of long on this one didn't i guys so um it's just there's a lot to these trucks so there is nothing basic about one of these trucks and i had somebody mention earlier man these these things are a lot cheaper than what the competition is so and i i think you're right so obviously you can you can build anything up to where the price gets gets higher depending on what it is trim level what it's got on it but uh 
I mean, the tundra can start in, in the 30s. It just depends on what you put on that truck to get to what you're getting at. But if you're looking at the 1794 and you've made it this far in this video, this is probably the truck that you want. So if you got any value from it, definitely give me a like. I appreciate you guys from subscribing. Um, definitely ask me if there's something that you guys want me to go over. I'm always going to do that. Um, also, some people have said, hey, are these coming to you? These particular ones are not. Um, these are just the first to have allocated. And obviously, once they allocate, I can actually get some of the build sheet information for you and that's what I'm bringing to you trying to get you guys the information that you want and hopefully in a timely manner and hopefully in a way that makes you want to watch and that makes you, you know, laugh a little bit because I try to be funny um, but <laughs> anyway right so Steve Welch Beeman Toyota downtown Nashville uh, I appreciate everyone you guys and thanks for watching and uh, we'll come at you in the next ones when I see them come up so you guys have a good one talk to you soon